Hi guys, it's Jamie here. Originally, my intention was to make 12 of these and you will see that I have some blanks. However, one of them went quite dramatically wrong, which I do detail and how I corrected it. And therefore I ended up doing six because the video I know even with really good editing is going to end up too long. This video is time stamped with how to put the template together and then each design. I've given the designs little names and you can check those out in the description below. Click on the little downward V shape and that drops down the description and you will see the timestamps highlighted in blue. If you click on those, it will move you to the next one. Equally on the video, you can see like little bars. And if you click on the next bar, it moves you forward to the next part of the video. Let's go back to the time where I was full of hope and joy before the big mistake and we're starting this project. To prep for this video, we're going to take a lot of dictionary pages and glue two together at a time. I'm going to use glue stick for this because I find it makes things less bumpy. I probably don't even have a pile big enough here because I am trying to do this stash builder. So I will get a lot of these done and then we will start to put the project together. The next stage is to take the pile and divide them in two. And with one pile, we're gonna cut off every single margin so that only the words remain. And with the other pile, we're gonna cut off three of the margins, leaving one either to the left or to the right, entirely up to you, still on or in place. Where we've left this margin to fold it over, I scored it and then you can also just use something to flatten it a little bit more. And I use this to shape things, which is just a, a credit card type thing with one corner cut off. And I line it up against the edge and cut away at that corner, including the margin. And the same on this side, cut that away. And then we'll be doing the same on the one that doesn't have a margin. And then we should be gluing those together. So some glue along this folded piece. Basically done is create a tag shape book page. Because when this goes into a journal, it will be glued this page down on the journal page. You can choose to make this a pocket by putting a notch here and only gluing along three sides when you put it down. So I will grab a punch, go roughly halfway on that between those two pieces and just cut a notch out and then that would actually make a pocket in itself and we will be adding a pocket or two to these pages anyway. That is the next stage, put together 12 of those. What I've decided to do now that these are all cut and into the right shape is use as much of the scrap box as I possibly can in completing these. This one is going to be a hinged hidden pocket, I suppose you would call it. So I'm throwing Mod Podge down on the first part of it. And then I'm taking what's some of what's left of this Harris napkin. I'm going to try tearing it. I know I'm not very good at this, but I want a more natural, organic feel. Run it up, run it there. I may not go for highly decorating everything because there are three sides to cover plus an extra pocket to add. Mod Podge over the top, need to let that dry. For the inside pocket, I have this scrap left. So I am going to cut it out, this part I think. What I'm gonna do is add some depth to this pocket by creating some hinging on this side just using some scrap because you won't see it and to do that we are going to take a piece of scrap paper fold it in half and then run it along the bottom 
I'm going to add a couple of hinges also to the two sides and that will help it stand away from the page a bit which means when you put tags and things into it they're not so, quite so hard to get in and out. You want to add them so that the fold goes to the outside just so that doesn't show. You can use any scrap paper that will help that stand away from the page. I'm still waiting for this to dry so I'm just Oh, that's dry. Right. Do I want to add anything to this, like collage up here? Or do I feel with it being a collage napkin, it's enough as it is? I'll have a little look. I've got my little boxes beside me, my favourite things. Like little tickets and things like that. And that's not... That covers up the tower, which would be a shame. Maybe something long then? I don't know. I'm not sure that anything really works with this. Potentially that pop that one down and let's see it's already got postage stamps and marks over it but you could add an inked one don't mind if it smudges okay we're going to leave it with this inside i feel like we need to make some journaling space somehow aha uh -huh. some journaling space i'll just stain these edges it's actually quite cool in itself however there might be something we can put on this bit. I've got a little advert. Not sure about that. Some of this. I wonder if you could just have a piece of fancy doily. Mm, kind of works better, but then you need, I'm always a big believer in threes. You need something over here, but maybe a label. There's a couple of horizontals. I'm just experimenting here. How does that look? It's an error of interest and to be honest it looks fine. And then again, doesn't matter if it smudges or doesn't stamp up that well. It's like my coffee's in the way. Just throw that across there. So I start stamping labels, that's it on the way. Labels and postmarks. One of my must-haves. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, that's a little bit of detail on there. Then you've got a map here, and that's going to be your pocket. So you need something behind. In the book, we have this, and I think that can be cut out, put as the background to that page, and then the pocket on top. While I like this, because it goes with the travel theme, I'm not a huge fan of the pocket. And I think it's because the pocket is narrower than the background when I cut that pocket out this was also on that piece of paper and I think if I cut that circle out that will make quite a nice little tuck spot I'm going to use a little bit of the silicon glue and just glue around that bit not too much pop it in that corner our first flip pocket has turned out to be a flip tuck spot <laughs> This we don't need to decorate because that's going to be glued to the journal page. These are all inserts that you add when the journal's put together. I'm going to leave the top free so there is still going to be a pocket. I will also stain around the edges with the vintage photo. I like to go heavy in the corners, don't know about anybody else. I like that actually. It's very simple but that is not a bad little start. Let's see what else is in the scrap box then. We know we have things like frames. We have like a picture that could be framed. I have this book on the 1950s, which is full of black and white photos. And there's this very interesting photo here of a young man checking himself in the mirror in his tux or his evening wear. And I'm thinking that will make quite a good cover to that but I would want to take the shine off this and sepia, sepia tone it. To take the shine off I'm going to use clear gesso. I don't have much of this left. I'm going to cover him with this. Hopefully this is going to take some of that shine off. This is sticky so I am going to cheat slightly and throw some baby powder over and rub it in. 
and it's probably going to destroy everything I've done but it doesn't matter get the vintage photo and rub it over I think that fits with that frame better somehow we've got to cut this I will cut that but I'm going to cut it so that there is a slight edge because otherwise I will have to fussy cut all of that and I'm not fancying that I have cut that as close as I dare to that frame and inked around the edges and I'm going to put it at a slightly jaunty little angle I will ink this edge have a quick look at the labels the number okay the number's okay but I'm going to tone it to match that yeah I don't mind that number at the bottom what do we think out of this scrap box we've still got adverts got a bit of masculine looking napkin oh and I do have some red boxes that I really like not really where I wanted it though so what can we do in red oh look that's from the Sherlock Holmes I'll try and get somehow a bunch of stuff to now work with this we have this box here and um, a little fragile symbol and I think we're going to go with that now we still have a, a biggish space down here this might be the page that we put the pocket on and I'll be looking for something red toned if you cut something like this into a pocket I've cut this out and I've scored it one centimeter in on three sides and cut out the little excess so that when it's folded to make a deeper pocket it doesn't get too bulky on those corners and that would be the pocket and it is going to sit up a bit so it'll take quite a bit I'm still not a huge fan <laughs> of this page but I will go with it I suppose put a, a thing in there I think I'll stain around the edge of that this bit is the bit I'm not keen on what can be done with this bit I'm wondering if you can does just adding a little something help maybe it just needs something to connect those two I've got some numbers here see I think that's better already now we're beginning to get somewhere believe it or not I am going to risk strengthening it with some more stripe I think to create a bit of journaling space on this one I'm going to take some of the white gesso and just scrub over like it's plaster or paint or you know that sort of look that you get in an old house when you strip wallpaper back I'm going to do the same on this side because we want some evenness where we've done some white we're going to take the vintage photo and just stain over that white and then it's just do we want to add an actual piece of paper and then a bit of a collage down here so you're matching this side that might work flowers running down there I'm gonna go with that a little bit of script that if I stained over it so I'll do it like that and then something here yeah I'm just building this up again and then possibly um, an ink stamp that is done because obviously that back piece gets glued down the third one we're going to try and do a bit of a masterboard effect on the front page at least and that's going to take some scraps a variety of scraps and place them down and just create a background to begin with take that across there that one there there's no reason to have perfectly straight an ink round I'm going to end up covering up all the virtually all the newspaper print at this point 
might have a bit of napkin that's in a different thing. It's all got a top coat on, I think. Just make sure. And then this needs to dry. This is dry. Now, normally what I do with something like this is scrub over some white to pare down the background. However, I thought this time I would try just adding a focal point to the background as it is. This was actually in my scrap box. I fussy cut round it, but leaving the white border because it makes the focal point stand out. I'm going to stick that down so that the majority of her body is on the plain bit. I think that actually works quite well. Might need a label or something here like that. I've had to reinforce this spine area where I scored it. I scored it a bit too thin. It was breaking away there. I think it's quite tempting to basically go with more collaging. I'm going to put a top coat of Mod Podge over all of that. I'm going to use the white gesso to dry brush some white over this to take this colour down. I have a selection of watercolour crayons in greens and yellows and normally I scribble them on and then water them. This time I'm going to put the water on first and then scribble them on. Tone down this white by creating some watercolouring over it. Put that out to dry. I didn't like the inside and then I tried painting over it and splashing it and doing all sorts and I still didn't like it. So what we're going to do because I like this part is cut this off so that it's a tag shape, trim it down and then attach it by loosely, loosely attach it onto this one so it's not actually going to be attached it will swing free a little bit kind of fix the problem <laughs> and now this print is the background so I'm wondering whether we just do a belly band down here of a similar nature and then a pocket on here and we actually leave the print alone if we're going to do that, I need some book page or some card or something. I've got some card actually. No, that's paper, but it will do. And we could do quite a wide one and have, well, almost a tuck spot. So cover this with scraps, make it look a bit like this one, put it on the inside. On this belly band, I'm going to repeat what was done on this pocket, which was to take some of the white gesso, splodge it over quite thickly actually. The next stage to make this look more like this is to use the vintage photo over the top. And I think I went in quite heavy and then added water, let it pool. So I let it do that. This pocket now needs a central point, so I've run some vintage photo over the sticker because I don't want it too white with the background being white anyway and I picked up a label and I'm going to put both of those down the admit one first and then the sticker and that is the pocket. I think for the belly band we'll, we'll simply glue her down and then we just need to get some silicone glue on this. clip it while it dries. I want a piece of washi tape or a piece of paper down that centre part over that join. Back with a little simple one um, so we can do something a bit more romantic and feminine because we seem to have done a few grungy. I've got some photos printed up that I got from TLC Printables Facebook group. I also bought some of their background papers, so I'm going to do a little bit of mutting and layering by putting a paper on, then choosing a frame and a photo, 
popping them all together and then they also gave out this as a printable I just changed the color slightly and maybe having that so I might cut that white border off I did originally leave it on but I wasn't thinking of doing the background at that point and then doing something along those lines I probably should have done this slightly differently I'm not quite sure what yet maybe edged it each piece maybe put this on its own little plaque but that's always something I can do next time. This is the peeled paint distress ink because these are green tones and I don't always want to use vintage photo. It's still dull, it's still got that vintage look to it. It's not a bright green. Yeah, it's okay. I need to create a pocket as well for this one. So I'm wondering whether the pocket should be made from one of these pieces and then whether we just do something like that on the pocket and a are we going to do a frame behind with a person in it or not I don't know yet you could cut it so the pocket didn't cover them up too much but it would cover them up a little bit and does that look a little odd possibly maybe you should have the pocket going to the side so that you can make the whole thing the pocket. Put it all onto another book page or something. I've made this one up and I've put the hinges on because this is now a two pages of book page glued together and then all that on top. It's made it like cardboard, which is a good thing, but if it went straight on that page, it would you'd never get anything in there. I've also got for reinforcing this central bit a little bit of lace that will bring in our feminine element on this side I want to have some journaling space so what I'm going to do is just tear down this piece of paper here and then I'm looking at what we've got in the way of scraps so we've got some of this paper as a scrap piece which matches this one then we have these pictures still, which if you brought her over, could even again do it so that she doesn't fit the frame exactly. I think this is number four completed. I love this slipping frame look where everything's at an angle and not quite where you should have it. And with this, I try to do one of those you know when pictures are hanging hanging on the wall and you actually see the the material they're hanging by and then a plate that's the sort of effect I was going for there I'm not sure that's particularly successful and as a journaling spot that's pretty limited but I love it as a look number five we're going to use this story of trains book that I picked up from the secondhand shop the first thing I've done is cut out this map I'm putting Mod Podge down, sticking this on so it goes slightly over the edge. We're putting a top coat on because I want to coffee stain this and that will stop the coffee staining being totally absorbed by the paper. That's going to need reinforcing. Get a strip of paper down there. I've edged this with the vintage photo, trimmed off that bit of overhang and now I'm going to blast it with coffee. I'm going to allow that to dry. I can't even remember where we were up to. <laughs> I've stained around the edge of this again so it's getting even grungier. I must love the grungy look. I've coffee stained the inside. I've pulled out some pieces from a couple of the kids books that I've got. I thought just on this front page we could put that little ticket I think I do want to I know I shouldn't because you should have some contrast but I do want to stain it I think and change the color yeah to me that's better because you've already got color in the map this is like a map but it's of locks in Scotland or I've got a scene and a train maybe you could put those together you've got 
some like lights here as well i just cut a few things out that i like the look of to be fair maybe not even the train maybe just this and some tickets i think it clashes too much dark green not fancying the dark green brown and white nope that's not right either what about the yellow oh no maybe the yellow don't want it that side could go this way and even have a journaling spot maybe one of the labels i've got some interesting ones that would fit i ended up cutting up a few labels <laughs> they are they're useful i'll use them at some point and i just want to have a, a sort of check because this reminds me for some reason of a train plate that red maybe with that red mm, maybe we can only have one lamp do I want to edge them in black or keep them in white I think I'll keep them in white actually keep everything in white because then it pops off the page I have the cutest idea for a tuck spot pocket on this side and it's actually going to be the steam engine and then maybe we can do one of these above it and keep that nice and simple i think this one has turned out really well in the end um i reinforced it with this green washi tape down the center i didn't have a brown i don't know why i don't have any browns at the moment i think this is the pocket or tuck spot i think it's a pocket really it's super cute just don't want to put too much in there because i haven't raised it up or anything i love these i think they they match the vibe i like having some color actually so i think that turned out pretty good for the last one in this section because i'm aware this video is getting too long i'm going to do something floral and i found this in one of my secondhand books so i fussy cut these out I found this which i think was given out in a group for free which is the same flower which is really cool i just happened to see it and i've got a few other little bits uh, back of a book page maybe as a journaling spot and we're just going to see what we can do i do love this it's very pink though and this is very green i don't know if they'll go together i will try ripping this down and see how they look together with that behind it i don't think that works but maybe if you do another section mm, not sure about that either we do this one a little bit slimmer have it going over both like that and a label or something there might work to keep the femininity of this one going i've got the victorian velvet for the edging to get the lightest of black edging on these very delicate daisies i'm actually edging it behind so the reverse so you can see just a touch of edging on some of it but not much here we have a little box of words and we've got things like a beautiful day which really goes with the idea of flowers doesn't it and we could just pop it at the bottom just to finish that off all right i was going to get a bit of pink or something for this central bit maybe lace do the lilac and then the pink on top what do we want we have the paper again and we could just have a journaling spot with a word or a butterfly even a butterfly we haven't done a butterfly yet for the pocket on this side i've torn it and then folded the edges over i just want to trim out that little bit of excess just those square corners because that will help take some of the bulk off the pocket that will fit we have these flowers here which i would love to put on there i don't know if they need a backing of some sort Do they need a bit of tearing around so put that on glue it on there and then try to roughly tear around that I don't know how I feel about that it's okay I'm not wild about it 
I'm wondering if you need something up here. Yeah, I think if you had something up here, that might work better. And if we put that down, I think we'll put this together and then maybe have it, something here. Have some vintage stickers. It's just a bit more detail. Edge this one with the pink. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, that's cool as well. All right, that's number six. Like I say, this video is already too long. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help push this video out to new people on YouTube who haven't come across this channel. It's a free way to support me making these videos. Equally, subscribing is another free way you can support this channel. And let me know what you think of these designs and which one was your favourite in the comments below. And I will see you next time.